Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here, playing more Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I'm just going to continue where we left off, which admittedly wasn't very far through the tutorial stuff <laughs> and character creation. But that's okay. <clears throat> All right, so we are on the beach. We just got wrecked um, with the Nautilus. So we are gonna be taking a look around the beach, see what we can find. A mangled fisher, perfect. Oh, and Shadowheart, even better. Waker. Don't need to reach for the artifact. No. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Hmm. Perhaps some dramatically timed divine intervention like that. Basically any time that there's going to be an interaction with the class, race, things like that, we'll probably click on it. Um the divine yeah. tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, I suppose it's not impossible. Alright, now what? Do you have any idea where we're going? What happened to our gith friend? Oh wait, do you have any idea where we are? I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First Agreed. First, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped still have these little monsters in our heads. We, you want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. Daughter of Darkness, proven. right past my pod, but you didn't. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we got both of us, which is nice. And one, yeah, one thing we can do, we can just move one person around if we need to, or both, have them both together. Um, we should be decently close to a level as well, so I don't think we have to worry too much about um, that type of stuff yet. Level 2 is going to be very nice for us. Um, so one one thing about 5th um, edition D&D is at the lower levels it is pretty dangerous. I mean not as dangerous as like 2nd or 3rd edition but still pretty dangerous. Uh, oh yeah that's right. Did I see anything down there? No I did not. Okay. Backpack. Nice hat. I'm just gonna pick up everything. Ooh, free healing potion. Murgrass. So there's um, surprisingly no crafting in this. Well, that you can do yourself, right? So um, that that is one thing that I know. Perfumed letter. Okay. Well, we'll read that here in a second. Um, that is something that I know that they were looking at doing, but just never actually implemented it in the final game. Bunch of fish. And there's reason that we need that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> there's a book here. Uh, and we all row. We lift the spray upon our necks. We all... Okay, so this is all... <laughs> about I'm really the bitch queen of the queen of the sea. That's funny. Shanties of the bitch queen. Uh, yeah, we'll pick it up. Take all the books we can. Uh, looks like we can get all the way over here, and it just gives us 
an overview of kind of seeing what's out there. Nothing too crazy though. Um, and then I wanted to read that letter, perfumed letter. Sigh. Love you there, I said it, and if we, if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and great. Let's do it, let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here the last few months have been hard. They're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the the beginning of the oh nice. Disarm kit, rope, thieves tools, all very good. So found a waypoint. It's actually pretty good. These ancient um, sigils and stuff basically are the waypointing system for the games. Uh, oh, dagger root. Where is it? There you go. So we do get like minor recipes and stuff um, that we can make like potions, elixirs and things like that, but nothing, um, no actual like crafting in the game. So. Maybe. So that's the only sigil we've seen so far, so that's the only place we can go to, but basically on our world map, uh, you'll find a bunch more of those, and we'll be able to um, fast travel around. Okay, there's some more stuff over here, so we'll head over here. And then I think we have to head out through here looks like we do and there's a reason that you want to kind of take everything here oh intellect devours okay um okay um what can we do here well Maybe we can come up this way. More of those wretched things. We have advantage, 99%. Seems pretty good. What do we have here? Better stay back. All right. I agree, we should put uh, Shadow Heart in the way. Probably should have made sure she had her shield and stuff first. That's okay. Another step forward. We'll just come back now. Um, what is what are all these actions? We don't need to dip our weapon in anything or shove. Um, perform won't do anything. Flourish also won't do anything right now. And that turn. Oh, there's one guy up there. Surprise round. Very nice. 85. 85. What's our damage on it? 2 to 9. Yeah, we'll just take the, the kill. And there's our level up. Fantastic. Alright. And then I want to just drop back here, let them come to us. You picked the wrong fight, friend. And then get back down. We always kind of want to have our shield stuff like that out. Can he reach us? Oh, okay, he 
ranged attack. Not cool. We'll get up there and we'll just smite him. Um, we could heal. I mean, we're going to we're going to level up after this, so I don't really want to. There, it's dead. The other one is so far away, so you know he still has to get over here. Oh, come on. That is quite the range. Okay. That's a bad miss. Heal yourself then. Um, and turn. Can we hit him from there? We can. Kind of want to heal myself now. As a just in case. And then drop back. Yeah. Okay. We should be fine to move up and get him. That's fantastic. Okay. Just muting my phone so people don't message me while I'm in the middle of <laughs> recording and stuff. Sometimes that's annoying. Uh, Alright. Level up. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. Huge amount of health. Five extra health. So, we get another spell slot. Jack of all trades. Alright. Fast experience. Add half your proficiency bonus to ability checks you're not proficient in, which is nice. Basically, at this level, it's plus one to everything um, that you're not proficient in. Song of Rest. Deaner allies revitalized as though you, have, you would have taken a short rest. That's actually very nice. I forgot about that ability for bards. And we gain a spell. Um... Hmm. Speak with animals is kind of nice. Because you can cast that and then you just have it for the day. And it's actually quite useful. Cure wounds is very nice. Featherfall. Heroism. Long Strider. I think we'll go with... Um, speak with animals we can always replace that later huge amounts of health increase here for shadow heart um, level one spell divinity charges turn undead and the effect from her domain which is turn undead turn all pray to turn all undead that can see you that's nice invoke duplicity Distract your enemies with an illusion within three meters of the illusion. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's her That's her divinity one. Okay. So turn undead or that. And then do we want to change any spells that she knows for the day? I don't think so. Create or destroy water. I mean, Bane is nice, but so is Inflict Wounds. So, I think we're happy here. Okay. We're also going to need more bags. Very much so. Does she have a bag? No, just camp supplies. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. 27 gold is actually a good amount. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how long these sessions are really going to go for. Basically, just until 
It feels like a good natural stopping point, I guess. A chest up there. Abducted nobleman. Oh wow. Silver locket. Money. A rapier. Pale mint. Well, let's go get this chest. Oil of accuracy. Nice. Dead mine player. Also very nice. So some of these we'll have to like jump up to get. I don't think we can. Oh, we oh we can walk up there. Okay, never mind. Ignore what I said. Caustic vault bulb. You can throw these. Same thing with that. Skull and the potion of healing. For the most part, we just want to grab everything. And we can either go that away or through here. <laughs> like which way looks more dangerous, right? I think we can probably head down here. More intellect devourers. Very nice. I mean, it is a beautiful game. Like, look at that. I do... Uh, I wonder if there's a photo mode in this game. I know, like, in some of these style games, there are... Like, um, Mass Effect has... a um, photo mode and stuff. Locked. Um, block pick. And we can add guidance to it because that's just a cantrip. Oh. Really? <laughs> Alright, we'll try again. You know that's never what you want to see first. First skill skill check roll. And we get um we get that. Okay. We have a leather helmet. Might as well equip it. Oh uh, might as well not hide during dialogue. Hide helmet in general. Yeah, I don't need the helmet on. Belladonna. I do believe like all of those get um like respawn after like long rests and stuff too. Yeah, I wish they could like zoom out slightly more. I got a cave down here. Oh. Starian, eh? Alright. Well, let's jump down. See what we can do down here. Yeah, we'll get to you in a minute. Hmm. Um. Shadow Heart. Can you... How do we move stuff? Do we just drag and drop it? Hmm. Do we need someone stronger? Can't throw too. Oh, okay. You guys are too weak to do it. Got it. All right. All right. What now? <laughs> if not over. We're definitely not a strong bunch right now, but let's go up and get to a Starian. I will say, he's also not. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what you got. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things caught. There. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Hm. Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved mm. until you see the flash of a dagger. Hmm. All right, put away. We don't need to fight. If this is robbery, you're off to a bad start, elf. One more step, and I'll make you eat that knife. Put it away. We don't need to fight. I saw you in the ship, free, scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the mind player's worm. It connected us. The worm. Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted might have done the same if the uh, roles reversed. Uh, a kindred spirit. No, she approves with that. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Oh, well, we can introduce ourselves. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Um, I know we don't want them in our heads. They'll turn us into mind players. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it. We need to get rid of it. If you travel with me, her odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. Yeah, pretty useful. All right. I accept. And we should actually check out those um, those quests as well that he has. And um, so Astarian is a rogue. We'll probably keep him as a rogue because he's pretty good at it. High dex, you know, and then middling stats otherwise. Um, yeah, expertise in sleight of hand, stealth, etc. Very nice things. So let's level them up. Having more people is always good. <laughs> he gets cunning action, high dash, and disengage, so you can use those as a bonus action each turn, which is very nice. And that's it. Pretty straightforward so far. Um, we should have extra daggers yeah and like crossbow short bow light crossbow there okay perfect now we're looking like a D and D party right Go check out what's up here, if anything. You never know with some of these like little nooks and crannies. Um, sometimes you'll find things hidden on the ground, etc. So it's always a good thing to take a look. I imagine. I don't need any attention right now. 
Um, let's just all group hide here. I don't know if there's going to be more... Um, Go talk to it. Approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Huh. Compassion. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. <clears throat> Interesting. That's not what I was hoping for. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. All right. Take advantage of the lapse and break free. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Yep. Monster. Death is too good for it. Agreed. Uh, mind players are not nice things. Playing D and D a lot, I should know. <laughs> uh, definitely had enough. Enough in campaigns before, so kind of know how they act. All right, so we need to find a cure. All right, Daughter of Darkness. So we rescued half elf named Shadowheart. Was aboard the Nautiloid and infected with parasite. Okay, a strange elf who's been infected with the parasite is hostile at first, but agreed to join us when we learned we were infected too. All right, inspirations. We don't really get anything for that yet. No inspirational events. We can look back at dialogue and stuff as well, but we don't need to yet. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any more um, intellect devourers then. Dead goblins, that's always fun. We did see them. Yes, I agree. Um, actually a supply pack is very nice. Oh, that's what's over here, eh? Okay. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. Slightly dangerous. Well, let's touch the sigil. A hand? Anyone? Hmm. Well. Interesting. Tune yourself to the sigil's magic, then bid it to quiet down. Grab the hand and pull. I mean, let's try this. We'll put guidance on as well. I don't know what that'll do. I like to see those options, though.
Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. All right. No need to apology. Apologize. Are you all right? At introductions. Fantastic. And not wasting time in event passing adventures. I certainly hope so. A bit uh. shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the North Lloyd as well. I was. Yep. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. Are you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? The process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem no. to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. Established few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together. Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Just a parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <coughs> oh. Yes. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. There we go. We have our fourth party member, Gale. Actually, Gale is one I've always liked. Um, subclass evocation, nice. Actually, change that if we want to. And that's a good question. Do we want to? Mind your conjuration, create water. Necromancy, don't really want to. Um, Grim Harvest. You regain hit points equal twice the spell spot level lose. Thrice of its necromancy. Yes, yeah, sculpt spells. Um, create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws. I mean, I like divination. Divination is always nice. Um, after long rest, you gain two random portent dice. During the day, you can use reaction to change the die. If any attack or saving throw roll near you to one of your portent drives. So that means, um, you know, at some point you can, if you rolled like a, a one, then someone's attacking you you can um, change that die so that they will miss you. That type of thing. Aberration forms wards around you that protect you from harm. Enchantment. Hypnotic gaze. Don't really need that. Prove minor illusion. Cast it as a bonus action. That also isn't that fun. Experimental alchemy. You can brew two alchemical solutions instead of one when combining extracts. I mean, that's also nice. That would get more bang for the buck out of our alchemy. I mean, that is actually pretty nice. But I really kind of want to say divination. I like the divination spells quite a bit. Or the, the portent dice and things, so... Um, Tasha's hideous laughter is always fun. Fine, familiar. Let's do that. Having a familiar is always nice. What else could we get? 
Magic Missile. Shield. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Burning Hands. Probably a Magic Missile. And then his prepared spells for the day. Let's see what he has. Let's get rid of Maid er, uh, Witch Bolt. It is not that good. He has Mage Armor, Sleep, Thunder Wave, and Grease. Hmm. No really damage spells. I think I'd rather get rid of Thunder Wave and put on Magic Missile. So let's do that. Grease can be pretty useful. Um, okay, perfect. So how do we use these portent dice? In fact, oh, she has two. One is a 13, one is a 4. Okay. And this... Change the die... Of a nearby, so this could even be for somebody else. It just says nearby. So that actually is super nice. Have we been down? We have been. No, we actually haven't been down all of this way. So let's come back here. Nice. More potions are actually always good. Nothing that way it looks like. Um, and we should actually take a look at his inventory. Quarterstaff. Um, do we have another crossbow? We do. Because he can use it. And this is where we've been. Okay. Just trying to understand the the paths and everything here. Never a dull moment. With haste. All right. But yeah, this is also a uh, waypoint as well, which is nice. Come up here to see if there's anything of note. Rogue's morsel. Salts of Rogue's morsel. Okay. Oh, here's someone talking. Man and Gimbalbach. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, everything that we have there. Hmm, we don't have a shovel. Really? I guess not. Here we can give uh, Gale a wizard's hat. There we go, perfect. Doesn't do anything. It's really just for um, aesthetics. Let's go check out this plaque. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship, and the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. I mean no harm just looking around. Ship is full of monsters, I wouldn't go near it. Um, I mean it's probably our best bet. Deception. I think that ship's an invasion force. Run while you can. I don't even know what ship this is, but let's do the persuasion check. 
Always adding guidance. Man, guidance is uh, very nice. Oh, we're off by one. You rule hot air. Think you can get us to leave that bounty hmm. to you? Not a chance. What are you not waiting for? Get him! Oh boy. And I'm up at the front, aren't I? Well, actually, Hysterion is. This should be fine. Okay. Ah, oh, darn. Well, we can just go right at him. And try to strike him. Critical miss. That's fantastic. Good, good job to start us off here, Astarian. Now, we can have her jump, which is kind of nice, because then you can kind of get up in there a little bit easier. There you go. Oh, there's a dude up there. I didn't even see that. They rolled an 11. Yeah, let's make them... Um... Yeah, let's use both of those dice. So it misses and... Um, does, does the thing that we need. Okay. I think we're going to want to do a vicious mockery on one of these guys. Probably this one. That's um, quite funny. All right, and we're gonna get behind here and kind of see what these guys do. All right, he missed. Fantastic. Just jump out of the acid. And now we have for cantrips. Firebolt, 60, 65. Yeah, kind of just want to go at this guy. Well, we kind of got him. All right, kind of hide behind there, right? No, oh, he missed. Well, who's this? How did I not see them? Oh, well, this could be bad already. Hmm. Hmm. Sleeping for two turns, eh? 65 to hit. Alright. Nice, he's almost dead. That's fantastic. Critically missed. Hmm. Probably want to heal yourself, Shadowheart. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Okay. Well, I think this is as good as time as any to uh, do something like this. Because that'll kill him. And that should hurt him pretty good. Yeah, that seems alright. Ice knife on Gale, that's fine. Where are you going? Kind of move around just a little bit. Some big misses, love it. Yeah, I do want to still hit him or try to. Heal yourself again. Once I'm up, it'll be fine. Things will be okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Now we could magic missile again. Let's get off the ice. Hey. Honestly, it's probably a good plan. It's half dead now. Ouch. Yeah, we'll get you. Don't worry. Nice. Okay. I just kind of want to get to there. So he has a hard time getting to us. Can we jump up? Try to get right on this guy. We can. Nice. Entangled. What is this? Twisting vines? Oh, well, that's not good. Nice. Well, it's something. I am awake now. Let's get Gale up. Can I target you? 45. 65. We have a chance to kill if we hit. Oh, so close. Hmm. I could use a potion of healing. We just kind of end our turn there. Could have been worse. We can do this and then get up behind. Nice. Fantastic. Kind of stuck there, but that's okay. And we can get right up on him again. Nice. Please stop running away from me. dash so we can get up there. These boots have seen everything. Just so that we're here. Okay. Battle chant to attract and delight those around you. There. I'd rather him try to shoot me because Shadow Heart's almost um, done. We have a chance. Nice. Good hit. Ken. Have a chance. We got him. Nice. That is surprising. That was a good shot. Okay. Well, that was a rough fight. Hey, armors. That's nice to see. Well, we're probably going to do a short rest here. And then... Actually, check that out. Check out her. See what we got. Okay. Alright. Everyone can be up here. Just. Ooh, dragon egg mushroom. Sounds cool. So let's take a minute here. Let's just see what we have. Scroll of mage armor. It's actually kind of nice. 
can expand these as well and kind of do this so we can see. Hey, we have a shovel. Um, that's actually super nice. Not proficient with medium armor. We basically have that right now. Is that better looking? Yes. <laughs> uh, we'll give the leather armor over to Astarian. Which is what he has, basically. Um, no, I think I like your, your clothes on right now. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think anyone's proficient with shields other than Shadowheart. Which, that is what she has. Okay. So that doesn't really help us right now. Alright, let's read this. Each page in this illustrated book describes the meaning of a different talus card. Oh, so this is like the um, like tarot cards. Okay. I'm not going to read these out loud, but there's definitely enough time for you to pause and read them, so... <laughs> Alright, let's add to wares, because that is something that um, I actually should be doing with a lot of this stuff. I think we need any of this stuff. we ever find a place to sell having all these already in wares is going to be very nice actually I think I can yeah should have been doing this actually, we'll keep the hand crossbow just in case and the scale mail, actually, we can probably give to Shadowheart. Disadvantage on stealth. But she's not going to be doing stealth checks often. And this just gives her an extra AC. I mean, her other armor looks cooler, that's for sure. Um, everyone is mostly... hurt which is not overly great um, probably a good idea to do a short rest here so that's one thing that we get um, we get short rests twice a day you can restore 50% of your um, hit points warlocks get their spell slots back we can do a long rest where we regain everything including spell slots we also go to our camp and just check it out. Um, we also have our sh Song of Rest, um, which basically gives us an extra short rest. Um, with how everyone is, I think I am going to do a short rest here. Up. Just, on. Yeah, gives everybody a nice, a nice heal. Bed rolls. come down here oh there's a backpack ton of stuff in it um, on that map does it show where that dig spot was because I don't remember where it was hmm was it over by where we met Astarian, or was it over by where we met Gale? That is a good question. Oh, look at that. We can go around this way. 
Well, before we go in there, why don't we go check out what's around this way then? Always like to explore in these games. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the plaque. We were we were going to, and then we got attacked. Time and the elements have left the plaque unmade. Good job, Astarian. Uh, oh, it's over here. Perfect. Yeah, because we just need one shovel. We'll, we'll always have it. Usually you find a chest in these. And this has scroll of ray of sickness and scroll of enlarge. Actually, both things are kind of nice. We'll give them both to... Gale. Yeah, actually, he has mage armor. Should probably be wearing it. Yeah, that boosts his AC up to a nice 14. Oh, another dirt mound. Nice. Alchemist fire and gold. Both of those things are good. Uh, looks like we can head down here. Keep on going. And there's a hatch. Well, that's fun. It is locked. Well, this is why we have a Starion. A 20. And he has a plus 3 from Dex, plus 2 from Sleight of Hand, plus 2 from Sleight of Hand. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. His chance. He got it. Just what to do. Let's go check it out. A dank crypt. Step forward. Makes sense. Oh, the lever. That's probably just to open it. <laughs> Rather than having to do anything there. Okay, and then... Okay. Oh yeah, we can also like turn on these braziers and candelabras and stuff. Um. Okay, interesting. Armed. Entombed. Heavy oak doors, okay. Benches. Just turn on all the lights we can see in here. Scroll of burning hands. Traps in here, probably, right? Be my my guess. There is a door over here, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Heavy key, perfect. Is there no... Oh yeah, there is one. That's it, just that one, eh? We can't reach those. We actually probably firebolt them. Oh, that almost looked like a lever. Um, can we... We can't, okay. It's actually very nice. Iron is hot. 
this gives us some uh, some vision. It's actually kind of funny. Intubum scribes just take all their weapons because you know what's gonna happen. There's religion. Oh. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Oh yeah. Jurgle. Okay. Is that what his name was? I have a feeling like we should be just be putting up um Like guidance as we wander around. Check out over here. Why don't we do that? Add guidance! Should have it on a hotkey, right? Ooh, a button! Love buttons. Oh, lovely. Okay. Well, I'm glad we took their weapons. Let's put it that way. Um, but I think some of these guys had... Um, hmm. down to there. Nice hit. And get back up here. What now? Um, what can we do here? I don't know if they can even really reach us, can they? Um hmm. Is this only for me? Can't give it to like... Okay, it's only for me. Got it. I think we'll just wait there. I mean, they have to come to us. Yeah, there's not really anything we want to use right now. Let's kind of put you back here. Let them come to us. Yeah, they're, they got to dash over to us. And that guy's been hit pretty well. I mean, they had a lot of health. These guys seem like they only have 10, so... Be like a one hit kill here. Oh! Okay. So that guy needs to die. Ray of Frost. Okay, got it. Can we. We cannot see. Okay, I see. Let's get up to there and see if we can hit this guy to break his concentration. We have broken his concentration by killing him. That's that's pretty good. Um I'd like to just try to hit him. 
and fail. That was uh, not what we wanted. And we can either vicious mockery him. Yeah. It's <laughs> fantastic. Firebolt. How about Ray of Frost? Because if it hits. That should reduce his movement speed, so he might not be able to reach us now. Oh, and I lost Blade Ward. Too bad. This is fine. If that's all they can do, he threw a rock at me. This doesn't seem very nice, does it? Okay, so what do we do here? Who do we go with first? Kind of want to just get down here and take out one of these guys. Nice. Which fog cloud was that? Not the right one. Well, actually, is it the right one? Um, nice. That's actually very useful. You can just end your turn right there. High ground attack. No, I think we just high ground attack this one. He seems like he's going to be the biggest pain. 55 versus 65. We missed. Let's run our mage back a bit. He's still just throwing rocks. That's fine. Silence on Shadowheart. That, you know what? That's not the end of the world. Okay, we don't have advantage against him, so let's just shoot him. Perfect. And we can kind of run down here. Where do I go from here? Time to press ahead. Um, can we? Yeah, we can. Nice. And we just get up here. Okay. Well, they're obviously guarding something, right? Um, but I think this is probably a good a lot of effort to hide one explore the ruins. Yeah, plaque. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through night, I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. <laughs> Here's <laughs> really. Alright, you know what, let's open up like these chests and stuff. Amulet of Lost Voices, speak with dead. That's actually nice. Um, that is something I remember not doing lots of. So, we want to make sure that we do this. Put that on ourselves here. Um... Speak with dead. Can't target undead. Alright. I should probably have that all these on as well while we're doing this. But we're gonna I think be done here. And at the start of the next one, we're gonna open up this tone this uh, sarcophagus. I think that sounds like a fun time. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you then.